You missed all the super ghouls and ghost streams. Eh, it happens. Nothing's really been happening in Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I had one run uh, last night that was on PB paced on the second to last split. I, I was looking to PB by like two minutes, and then I lost 11 minutes <laughs> on the second to last split. Uh, that game is brutal. Alright, that was decent. Don't worry, guys. I'll get a run past Cagney. And then maybe I'll just go hitless the entire run. No, it's funny. Before I streamed earlier today, I, I did like a warm-up run. And first try earlier today, I got through to aisle three uh, with only only retrying on Funfair Fever. It's kind of ridiculous. And I was like nine minutes ahead. And then I I died a bunch. Just grab me a few Cuphead World Records per night, how you cope with the brutality of the super ghouls and ghosts. Yeah, basically. Come on, why am I getting such bad RNG with this? Alright, this one will work, right? It's not too high. Bravo! I feel like that mushroom throws like a pink parable out basically every time, and the last two runs he didn't. Yeah, I might have to give up on Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I mean, I'm only, I only plan on running Super Ghouls and Ghosts for like three weeks at most, and then I need to have to practice for. Practice all bosses 1.1.5 for the uh, event I'm doing next month. Buckeye Speed Bash in late March. You only playing in version 1 because sometimes your PC decides to crash on Devil Grim or Jimmy. Huh, interesting. So it doesn't happen on 1.2 for you, Geo? Okay, nice and easy. Uh, yeah, you can take damage for the P ranks. You don't have to. Sh you can't shoot open the doors on Funfair or on uh, Funhouse Frazzle though. You have to wait till they open up to send out the cars or the tongue or whatever, and then you just jump through them. If you destroy them to open them, then you lose your P rank. Okay, solid. All right, this is decent. We'll take it. The door glitch? Okay, so there's a way, and it was fixed in 1.2, but if you, it, it, how do I explain this? You take, you walk into the door and take damage, then you reverse gravity, dash toward the door, and then do a full jump, and it clips you through the door without waiting for it to open. So it's a little faster that way, but you have to damage boost to do it. And that's what I usually do in, in speedruns, like all flags, but you can't do that for this, just because we're trying to do a glitchless speedrun, basically. Alright, this is good seed patterns. I'll get a parable right here. I'm gonna have bad seeds this time though. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. Should be good on EXs now. Should be good on parries. Just gotta get the kill now. Cool. We got a gold. <sighs> okay. If you had a better PC to run the game in version 1.0 and 1.1.5, you'd run hater percent on 1.1.5. 
I like 1.1.5. Dust patch. Actually, I don't know. 1.2 has its has its charm. I just don't like them fixing the double damage lobbers. If they didn't fix the double damage lobbers, it would definitely be my favorite. Because the secret phases are really cool, but... Man, patching something that we loved, either intentionally or unintentionally, is just a bummer. And not even fixing, not even fixing jump lock. Isn't that the biggest, uh, biggest ouch there? They didn't fix jump lock, which everyone knows about and hates. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> What's up, Diggity? Oh, I forgot. This is how I used to do this. Oh, I like this strat a lot better. Okay, this should be good. Nice. Okay. I only lost 13.5 with the routing. That's not too bad. You don't like the hitbox on Wally's stomach at 1.2? Yeah, that was a, a dumb glitch that they left in there. That they created for 1.2, somehow. Just lurking. Cool. Cool. It's as bad as Mario Maker 2 spikes. Speaking of Mario Maker 2, I might be playing Mario Maker at some point. Because I think... My birthday's later this month, and I think I might be getting a Switch for my birthday. Oh my goodness, okay. That was dangerous. Uh Alright, give me give me more parries. Okay, that's good. Alright, I should just one cycle second phase. This should, this should be the only second phase attack, because I did a, I did some extra, some double damage. Yeah, I did some double damage with P-Shooter. By crouching in the right spot. Okay. Alright, not the best RNG, but we'll do, we'll take it. Should be enough for a two cycle here. Cool. And a gold. How about that? Are you ducking on bulls? Hmm. Does hater percent allow the frame perfect pause here? I doubt it. No glitches allowed. Hey, thank you for the happy early birthday, Tuner. Yeah, I'll be excited to, to play Switch. I haven't gotten a new game console in. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember the last new game console I got. Probably Xbox uh, One. But before that, I don't know. I guess Xbox One's not that old. But I'm missing out on all these Nintendo systems. No, wrong side. No. Alright, there we go. Four parries. Four parries without touching the ground. We're good. You wish more games had this caliber of a category for speedruns? It's fun and tense to watch. Yeah, I, I do like this category because it's one of those ones that you're not grinding for, like, shaving a second off of a fight. And resetting if you fall like three seconds behind. Like in this, I don't care. If I have to retry a couple times, whatever. No big deal. 
Xbox One's already seven years old. Jeez. I don't remember when I got it. I, I did not get it right when it came out. That's for sure. I never get anything right when it comes out. If you do get a Switch, make sure you get the newer version with a better battery life. Good pro tip. Alright, Ron Goopy next. Alright, that one's looking pretty alright so far. Not talking about the light. Gotcha. <sighs> Jeez. Goopy fight. Goopy's kind of intense in that final phase to maximize your damage. Imagine if retries were banned in this category. Well, I can tell you for sure that no one would have completed this category if that was the case, Demery. There'd be zero submissions. Oh, you know what? You can't even exit the plane tutorial. You can't press start and exit it. You have to exit it this way. I think Sublime on his run got docked seconds for hitting start and exiting that way. Because that's a glitch. A glitch in the arbitrary rules for this category. like a very close second for hardest fight on this aisle okay that was good <sighs> jeez get out of here That was very Monka S. Monkey S too. Jeez. I hate how you can't just like easily kill Hilda. Uh crap. Okay. You have to bait those those yellow ones out early. On regular, you could actually just sit in the back of the screen and those yellow ones will, will shoot in front of you and disappear by the time they get over you. But on expert, you actually have to move forward and bait them out, otherwise they last long enough to kill you there. <sighs> okay, jeez. Just like in most co-op aisles, they're, they're empty. Yeah, but it's not the same. Like They're not empty because people can't beat them on co-op, they're empty because no one really cares. Like, if this, if this was a category that required no retries, there, there'd be no submissions, but not because people weren't interested, just because no one could physically do it. It's just impossible. I mean, not, not actually impossible, but impossible enough where no one's going to want to attempt that, especially fighting all the King Dice mini-bosses. Imagine that choke, getting there with no retries the entire run, past Funfair and all that. It'd be the worst. All right, Baroness. Okay. Okay.
I have to remember, I need to get parries. Because we're gunning for S ranks. Alright. I did not. You, you could. If I didn't have to turn around at all, I could have killed him a little bit faster, but that's fine. This is the worst. Uh oh. Getting this guy last. Okay. Jeez. Alright, this is slow, but I think we're on pace. I might need one more parry, I can't recall. like exactly even with my PV. Like how do I get so close to my PV on, on fights like that? <sighs> That's kind of silly. <sighs> yeah, the category is insanely optimized. That must be it. Uh, this is the worst level. GL me. This and King Dice are, are easily the worst levels in the entire run. Alright, I need to hit a frame perfect trick here. My goodness. I lost time. I somehow lost time. <laughs> I've lost time. I don't get this. I don't get this. Sheesh. I need to have like a heart rate monitor hooked up because this would be off the charts right now. <laughs> I'm not even halfway through the run. Like this is like a quarter of the way through the run. <sighs> Damage hacks on confirmed. Oh come on, why are you at the top of the screen? Clip on them, clip on them. Okay. At least it, he doesn't last in that phase as long on, on Expert. Alright, this is okay. I don't think I'm allowed to, to do the pause buffer here either. Go right first, right first, please, right first. No, of course not. Of course you have the heart first. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. I'm really close to, to, to killing him. Okay. I trusted my instinct that he was almost dead, and I stayed in that corner. <sighs> oh, man. <laughs> this 
is like the most intense category by far. Obake with the Twitch Prime resub for three months. Much appreciated, dude. Thanks a lot. Let's get some uh, Cagney emotes in chat for uh, for Obake, guys. This fight's kind of annoying, too. <gasps> First retry. Uh, Alright, that's okay. Hey, it's all good, Tuner. Any Cagney emotes, a win in my book. Jeez. And where... Where are my parries? I need parries. Like, this is the worst RNG. Doesn't Grim usually start with parries? Okay. Alright. <sighs> yeah, phase of one is the only one with parries, so you need them all right there. Like, I don't even think that I played that that bad, it's just that I got no parries. I don't know if that cloud's too low. This one's not. This one's fine. Okay. Still a big time save over my PB. We'll take it. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Deep breaths. <laughs> I think regardless of what transpires for the rest of this run, I'm going to play this one out because I'm four minutes ahead. And I'm not going to lose four minutes on a single level until King Dice. So I'm probably going to have a shot at, at world record. Or a, sh a shot at PB pretty deep into the run. It's more than just Pea Shooter only on Expert Obake. It's, uh... It's Pea Shooter only with all S&P grades. And getting all coins. And no, no charms or supers allowed either. But you have to do all the mausoleums too. And... Probably the hardest part is doing all nine King Dice mini bosses plus King Dice with no damage all in a row. And no glitches or off screen hitboxes. Basically, nothing to give the haters. Like, nothing for the haters to complain about. Although. I mean, I could think of some stuff that the haters can complain about. For the fact you have to use the fresh expert glitch to even play the category. Imagine if Hater Percent made you do everything on regular first to unlock Expert and then do it all again. Okay, that was solid. World Record Base, not quite Vincey. Just saw that now. No, Emery. <laughs> The hater percent rules say you have to not take damage on King Dice. It doesn't matter if I get an S rank. If I got hit, then re retry. It's rough. Hater er, King Dice is easily the hardest part of the run. It's right at the end. Is parry mashing allowed in this category? I don't know. I don't know, Geo. You'll have to ask TMR. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Good, good. We got two parries and a nuke. Parry bashing is whenever you have, like, on, on, on Rumor Honey Bottom, if you get, like, a, a pink sphere, you could just parry it a billion times in a row. Like, you just spam the parry button and just keep, keep parrying it over and over again. Like, not on top of it, but, like, below it. You'll kind of, like, parry through it and not take damage and get a bunch of cards. Or you can do the same thing on the Pink Balloon in Funfair Fever. I think that's what Gio's referring to. At least you don't have to have to fight in the head. I mean, you do, Blade you. Okay, that was cool. Eh. <sighs> okay. Uh, do I save for a nuke? No! Tuh. Why did that last for so long? I was used to regular where it doesn't last quite as long there. Dang it. And I was torn between whether I should save for a nuke there because I got... Usually I go for a three nuke fight on this. And I didn't get enough cards to uh, to do a third nuke there quickly. Like, usually I, I, I get the, the third nuke right whenever he's shooting the eye laser, and I could just tank it with iframes. That's rough. A lot of this is just my unfamiliarity with the bosses on Expert since it's been a while. Yeah, you could use nuke. Luckily that doesn't count as a glitch. Iframes. <laughs> Imagine if iframes count as a glitch. iframes from nuke. Dang it. I was going for the four ticker instead I got one. That's fine. Okay. Alright, now I'm gonna have enough for a nuke. Hey, Gamer Attack, what's up, dude? I don't even need the nuke this time either. I'm gonna use it, obviously, because why not? I guess I should have used the nuke there. Man, that's a big time loss. A minute and a half. I had a couple retries on Grim, too. Let me think. It's not too bad of a run, though. You thought it was called Hater Percent because you would wind up hating the game after going through all this BS? Yeah, pretty much, Obake. That also works. <sighs> the one King Dice mini boss in this category specifically to get your heart racing is Fear Lap? Oh man, no, it's all about Pirletta and me. Pirletta and the monkey. Pirletta is the worst because on Expert, she has an unpredictable. Uh, pattern, I guess. I guess you could say. Because uh, her, her second time that she charges, she does not just go right across and right and come right back like she does the first time. She switches it up and sometimes hangs on the side of the screen for a little longer than normal, just to to have your. Uh... Oh man! Okay. Don't get hit. Okay. Okay. Whatever. I am overcharged on cards, but that's fine. I can't believe I got hit there. Alright.
Jeez. I'm getting some rough dog patterns here. Okay. That's okay. Uh, okay, okay. All right, we'll take it. Ah, uh, here's my gold time ticking down. Okay, let's see how much time I lose. That was like a 30, maybe a 35 second death, or retry on that level, that's not too bad. Not as bad as Jimmy. Yes, all mini boss for King Dice, that's right, all in one go. Oh yeah, also, yeah, with Pirouetta too, whenever she throws those balls, whenever she does the spinning in place throw balls thing, that's rough. Oh, I forgot. Funhouse Frazzle. <laughs> Almost forgot about my fave running gun. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's okay. It's not too bad. I guess I uh, retried there on my PB also. I'm surprised. That is not one of the harder levels. I hate a percent version for Chaser. Oh my gosh. But yeah, Pirouetta, like, even when she does a spinning and plays balls attack, it, it's tough to dodge. You only have one opportunity to dodge, and it goes by so quick that if you are not paying attention, you just miss it and get hit. Did you have a boss slash running where you could save some time? Uh, yeah, Rumor. Rumor I could save a ton of time. If I do this first try, I'll save, like, five minutes. This is one of the hardest fights of the run, though. I was experimenting a little bit with trying to figure out, like, a good way to track cards on this fight. So I can uh, prolong damage before the final phase for as long as possible. Okay. Ooh, I got the right side kill. Which is what you're actually going for on, on Expert. Alright, I got my parries. doing this on purpose. Oh my gosh. How did I knock it hit there? Yes! Oh, that was huge. Alright, my damage counting was somewhat good. Now I'm on world record pace, technically.
This level's pretty rough, too. I'll play it safe. I could damage boost this guy and save time, but really, what am I going to do with, like, a... Uh, okay. What am I going to do with, like, a 10-second time save versus the entire run? You know, it's not even worth potentially dying. Not in this category. Are you allowed to do the Air Jordan strat? Um, if you could have done... If it was possible to do without ruining your pacifist, then I, I would say probably not. <laughs> but I like to think about it. Uh, okay, whatever. I did not mean to damage boost through that guy, but we'll just take it. I wanted to save as much HP as I can, just in case this area goes haywire. I don't have my napkin ready, so... I might struggle a little bit here. Alright, let's do this. I know the top very well here. I don't know the bottom, so I'm gonna go back so I can go up here a little bit. Okay, this is bad. I'm gonna wait. Okay, we'll take it. Still golded. For some reason, you thought the gates don't count if you kill them? I mean, for a lot of enemies that you can parry to death, they don't count for pacifists, but you can't just parry the gate to death, so I think it does count as ruining your pacifist. I'm not positive, though. Yeah, it was still a gold. It was still a gold because of that uh, damage boost I did. The damage boost through the, uh, the unintended damage boost through the lion. That saved me time. Yeah, 128 was somewhat decent for pacifist on that, with playing it safe, getting all the coins. Okay. <laughs> I hit a clip. I gotta try to save time, right? It's wherever I can. Alright. Oh, come on, you're not dead yet? That clip is not a glitch. Although, if exiting the plane tutorial is a glitch, then... <laughs> who knows? I guess I don't know what a glitch is. Okay. Jeez, give me a break, Cal. Alright, should be dead here. He still has more health after two nukes? Okay, we'll take it. <laughs> you haven't memorized all the expert Cal spark cones? It surprises me how different those are from the regular ones. Like, you'd think they just take the regular ones and make them faster, but those are very different patterns. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was wondering what the That's What She Said was in reference to, and I assumed it was something I said, and I was trying to figure it out in my head, but I couldn't. Because I read through the chat, I'm like, no one said anything in chat that could be misconstrued as a That's What She Said, so it must have been me. <laughs> Alright, we're looking good so far. I need to get my parries in the first phase here, preferably. Yes. Okay. That's good. Are you going to give me more patterns? Jeez. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I should have only shot one. Or I should have saved two cards. So I might need that for this part. 
No, no, I'll have another card. Okay. Alright, I should have this. Cool. Ooh, the real challenge is on Perilous Piers, do I want to... Do I want to shoot the octopus at the end? Because if I miss shooting the octopus and kill a shrimp, then the run's over. The, then the run is that that then I have to restart there because that run gun is invalid. That's what I meant to say. Okay. Yeah, I guess I won't shoot the octopus. Oh, but that, doing that part is, it just takes so long. Not being able to shoot anything. Yeah, you have to shoot the monkey the real way. There's like multiple yellow pellets on Briny. Get out of here! I thought about parrying the laser, but what kind of maniac am I? How long does this phase take? Am I going to miss my S rank because of time? Okay. I guess I had a big time save there, too. Jeez. it's a long fight. I felt like that, that last phase went on forever. Yes, I did know that, Obake. I was ready to do it if I needed to. Dang it. Okay, that's fine. I can't help myself. I gotta shoot this. This is too slow. Okay, I was waiting for that split to count because the splits know if it's an S rank or P rank, and it didn't split right away, so I thought I might have killed a shrimp, but no, I didn't. We're good. Yes, it's still a P rank if you hit the octopus. P rank means don't kill anything. You're allowed to shoot things and not kill them. Which is kind of silly. So a true pacifist wouldn't shoot anything, but it's fine. Yeah, Cal on Legacy, Hater Percent's very bad. It's 
up, Dieters? What's up, Muckworm? I didn't know Hater Percent was such a hit with everyone. Everyone's super excited to see Hater Percent. Alright, this is good. So I've gotten zero parries. Normally I'd shoot an EX there, but I want to save my card so I can use a nuke if needed. Now I need to like wait for parries. Oh, come on. That was stupid. I should just use the nuke for iframes. Alright, it's fine. Got my parries early. There we go. Give me redfish. Nah, of course not. Alright, losing time in the split. Okay, we'll take that. Jeez, that was a low spike wall. Time loss, but that's okay. Wonder what hater percent for super ghouls and ghosts would look like. Oh, jeez. Uh, probably be using the lance only for the entire run, and then getting the the goddess bracelet as soon as you can on the second loop, and only using that for the rest of the run. <sighs> and doing it only in iron armor, no armor upgrades. They don't complete hitless hater percent before. Like without any retries, no, Muckroom, no. No one's ever done it. No one's even gotten close, as far as I know. Oh, I forgot about the parries on Sally. What? How did you get one more attack after that? That's cheap. You did marathon percent a while ago? Jeez, good good job. Marathon percent. That's a rough category too. I got lucky there because I did not put myself in a good position to, to do that. Okay, that's fine. These attacks come so fast on Expert. Okay. 
That was solid. The nuns and the babies in Sally got an HP nerf in 1.2. Interesting, since they weren't even in 1.1. Or the nuns weren't, anyway. I guess the babies were. Yes, Hater% percent is one of the few categories where the parry of shame is no longer a shame. It's probably the only category where it's not shameful. Yeet Neil, thank you for the new follow. Much appreciated. Play Prop of the Rapper? Yeah, I like that game. Dang it, I did too much damage for the two cycle. Or for the three cycle, apparently. You could two cycle this, right? Or am I making things up? Maybe I'm making things up. That was good. <sighs> Yuck up in and watch these bosses die easily is satisfying. My skills are follow. Hey, thanks, Yeet. Much appreciated. Okay, Phantom's one of those ones that's like deceptively tricky. I don't know, I guess a lot of people think it's tricky. For me, I don't really consider Phantom to be that difficult, but when you're trying for it in hater percent near the end of the run, it gets pretty difficult. <sighs> yeah, some best almost sub one hour, that'd be cool. Yes, I am, Muckworm. Like, five minutes ahead right now. Yeah, no shop glitch. I am aware. You have to buy all the items and charms and weapons, guys. You just can't equip any of them. Whatever happens, props to this insane run up the king dice. Thanks, Keo. Yeah, you gotta walk all the way back after getting that. It's silly getting the the dialogue that tells you how to equip items on aisle three. But that's how it is. Come on, what is with these? So many of those little flying guys. Another one. Another one. Just give me a random gold split here, please. Nah, no gold. Still a time save. 
That's the look on King Dice. Thanks, man. I'm nervous. If I can get past King Dice first try, I'll feel pretty good about this run. I mean, I still feel pretty good about this run. I'm 10, 10 minutes ahead of my PB. I, I don't remember if I had any retries or not on King Dice on my PB. I hope I did, because then I could potentially gold it and get even more time, more of a time save. And based on my splits, my old Mausoleum 3 split was like an hour and two minutes in. So I must have retried on King Dice, right? King Dice shouldn't have taken 12 minutes. King Dice is like nine minutes. Okay. No, you are not, Buckworm. No getting hit on King Dice at all. Not the legit way. I don't want there to be an asterisk. Technically, you get an S rank without it, and I don't think the rules on speedrun.com say otherwise, but. You gotta do it legit. Should be able to kill this guy before he attacks again, right? Okay, good. I, I remembered correctly. Because that, that bottom guy is definitely the worst. We'll say it has to be hitless. Yeah, I, I figured either way, diggity. I've only ever done it hitless. I would feel cheap taking the easy way out, just going for an S rank, no, not in regards to hitless. This guy's deceptively difficult on King Dice, also, on Hater Percent. Because expert, expert chips is actually really difficult. Although I'm getting easy patterns right now, so I'm looking like a liar. Okay, that was a, a fairly tricky pattern. I don't remember how I do this on expert. I guess I'll, I guess I'll just play it safe. There's probably a position that could stand in where I don't take damage, but I'm too nervous to try it out right now. I don't remember enough about this fight. Like, on, on regular, there's a, a position you could just stand in where you just don't get hit by these at all. No, Hater Percent is on Expert, Muckburn. I'm saying on regular, there's a spot that I can, I can definitely do that. But I'm not used to these bosses on Expert enough to know if there's a spot on Cigar where I can stand and not take damage. Man, all these fights are hard. I forgot. This fight's hard, too. Okay. Where are my parries? Not that I need them, but I like getting parries. Get that, get that obstacle out of the way. Should be about dead, right? I feel like my spidey sense is tingling. Yeah. There we go. What's the expert timeline for King Dice? Uh, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but depending on how many mini bosses you get, your time limit changes. So if I only did three bosses and fought King Dice, the time limit might be like four minutes or whatever, but if I fight all nine bosses, the time limit's probably like 12 minutes.
I'm pretty sure there is. Is it 60 seconds for each mini boss? Jeez, flat across the board? I thought they'd give you more for monkey. Okay. starting to get a little cold. <laughs> cold and clammy. That was very, very close. Too close for comfort. The stuff on the foreground really messes with you on this level. Okay. Let me build up some cards. So you can parry that and build cards, which is nice. I make it look easy. <laughs> uh, I'm glad that it looks easy. It does not feel easy. <laughs> All right, this is the worst fight right here. Okay. Man, that was so close. This is what I mean about her patterns. Like, she'll randomly just stay on one side forever. Okay. <sighs> She's terrible on expert. It's the worst. It does not look easy. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't feel easy, that's for sure. Yeah, Grandi, so you see how like, inconsistent that is? And I don't know why, I don't know if that's intentional. Because the first time she goes back and forth on expert, it's fine. She goes back and forth in like a, a uni like a uniform pattern, it's the same amount of time on each side, then she just decides the second cycle to switch it up. I've gotten hit during Mango Steam before also, Geo. That fight is still a little nerve-wracking, because sometimes you just get, like, on cycles where the pieces of chalk are just in your way when you need to dash out of the way of one of those beams, and then you have to, like, jump up to bait the beam away. It's it's confusing. I did not parry the right thing. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure... Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness. I angered the monkey. He just went in, a ra in rage mode right there. Ok, 
Okay. <sighs> Is this expert or super expert? Yeah, it feels like super expert. Some of best under an hour. Oh my goodness. This might be the run, guys. That third set of cards was so rough. <laughs> I had like the first parry four cards in. I somehow managed to stay up long enough. And I, I did not want to use my dash. If I use my dash, there's no guarantee I might I wouldn't need it later. And I probably didn't need I think I did need it later in those cards. Oh my goodness. Heart's pounding. Whew. All right, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, one parry. Jeez, maximum bounces. Okay, that's fine. Oh! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Of course, I get this, my least favorite pattern. Especially on Expert, this goes so fast! That's so fast on Expert. Okay. Let's get me to second phase. Let's get me to second phase. First phase is just... terrible. This should be it, right? This is a lot of damage. Of course. Of course I get the axe. Where are my easy parries? There we go.
goodness. Come on. Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. Yes. Oh, we got it. We got it, guys. We got it. Yes. Almost choked it all away. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, okay. Yes. Did it. My goodness. That was insane. <laughs> my hands are shaking. Oh my goodness. Funk Factor with the 200 bits. Much appreciated. Oh my gosh. It's probably the most insane thing I've ever done in Cuphead. This trumps like uh, getting the ALMAO uh, completion. Hey, it's Baby Doll. Thanks for the new follow. Much appreciated. Hey, I just did this because I don't want to see TMR run Hater percent some more. And he got a world record, so he was probably done with it. So let's bring him back. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Fizz Crusher 99 thank you. Thank you for the new follow. Uh, let me go just read chat, because chat just went crazy. <laughs> Emery, thanks for the GG. Thanks, Grandius, for the GG. Yes, we do. <laughs> that deserves a wipe of the brow. <sighs> yes, Muckworm, WFR, Diggity, thanks for the GGs. Duders with the pog. <sighs> Lala Bear, thanks for the congrats. Jilteon, thanks for the GGs. Keo, thanks for the heckin' GGs. <laughs> Muckworm, thanks for the GGs. Geo with the, like, the Cagney spam, much appreciated. Oh man. Diggity with the poggers. Duders with the WFR. Generic internet commenter with the boom. Vinci with the GG, thank you. Telegio, GG, thank you. Jilteon, yes, thank you. Obake with the woohoo. Gradius with the world record. Generic Internet Commenter with the GG. <sighs> Diggity with a bunch more Gs again. Duders with some more GGs. I think you said GG before, right? No, you said world effing record. Okay. <sighs> Obake with the let's go. Lady with all the Cagney emotes. World record for Vitaligio. Oh, man. <sighs> Trash run, I could do better, lol. Thanks, Gamer Attack. Miss Namer, thanks for the new follow. How many runs was this? Um, I restarted a couple times on aisle one today. What was it, like two or three retries today? What a tremendous run, yeah. If you hadn't died in doubles, it'd be literally 99.99999% unbeatable. Yakio. I lost like four minutes to double. 
If that was like a 105, that'd be a s sick. All right, Zexios, thanks for the GG. Hey, the the Tooth Fairy one. What's up, man? Welcome to the chat. You came in at a good time. <sighs> she kind of just mags you stole my world record. Hey, it's nothing personal, gamer attack. I steal everyone's world records. You'll grind and you'll get it back. I just like the competition. You know, let's get get all these categories to to all bosses territory where you need a lot, a lot of uh. Jeez, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Sub one minute, let's go. Sub one hour, ugh. I mean, like, technically, some of is under one hour, it's never gonna happen. You'd need a run with no retries. And still need to play really well. That was very intense. I, I thought uh, for sure I was gonna choke that away on the double after, like, the third retry. 